Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for November 27th through December 3rd. This is for the sign of Aquarius. Now this may not resonate for you as it's for a general audience. It may or it may not. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled this deck. So I'm only going to shuffle for eight. I'm done. I will focus the camera in once I have the cards laid out. So the basis of your reading is the Eight of Wands, but it is reversed. So that is telling me that there's some kind of delay. Something isn't happening, happening as quickly as you would like. All right. Somebody isn't speaking their truth. All right, somebody is not speaking up. Somebody is not doing the right thing for them. With that justice card, there could be some lies going on in your life. I'm not sure what's going on. Somebody is being dishonest. That's all I've got to say. <coughs> um, yeah, there's some dishonesty. And it seems like you've put a lot of work into something. You have. You've made a lot of progress. Um, you're headed in the right direction, but still, something is not happening as quickly as you'd like. It feels like um, there's somebody is like upset, and they may be withholding or withdrawing from you. They may be withholding love, you know, trying kind of like trying to punish you. You know, it feels like somebody could be trying to like to punish you. <laughs> you know, I don't know what the hell. Somebody is trying to bring you down in some way. Um, and you're trying to move away from it. It's like, you know what? I just want this peace back in my life. I see that you're ready for a change, a positive change. And you've put a lot of work into something. You're looking for growth. And the fact is, is that you're just not seeing the growth that you've been hoping for. It feels like you've really taken the time to reflect and work on yourself and plan and focus. And you've really just done what you need to do, but somebody isn't cooperating. You know, they're not they're not cooperating the way that you'd hope. And I see that um I think a door is closing and that that's that's what it is. I think a door they've closed the door perhaps, or maybe you have. Somebody has moved on, um, and that's a good thing because I think that somebody does need to move on. Somebody needs to move out of this situation. Somebody needs to put themselves in the driver's seat and, and head right the hell out of here. So maybe that's you just saying, I can't. I, I respect myself too much to <clears throat> not get the love um, reciprocated because it looks like somebody hasn't been reciprocating uh, their their the right amount of love time energy into a relationship and you've come to this epiphany this wake-up call that you know there's nothing more I can do I've nurtured it I've watered it I've I've really given it my all and nothing is happening here so now you're you're taking a stand okay it looks like you're taking a stand you're no longer going to defend yourself I'm done I'm done with this shit because I know what I'm worth it looks like you are starting to realize your own worth. And it's making you happy that you're doing that. You're like, you know what? My happiness matters. And because you're doing that, because you're respecting yourself, I see that you are. Many of you are going through a period of more self-respect than you've had in a really long time. And because you're doing that, I see opportunities for new growth. Maybe even a new partner. Some of you could have a new sexual partner enter your life. I mean, this is what could happen because you're starting to feel more positive and your vibration starting to come back and your self-respect. And when that happens, you know, there's a ripple effect. So I think that 
you know, whoever's been holding you down and whoever's been um, giving, not giving you the love that you deserve, I think that you're moving away from that. Um, you've realized that you can't give anymore, that there, there's no more to give. There's no more to give. And I think you've had this awakening. So, um, I see, I see success here. I see a victory. Um, I see a transformation. Many, many of you are going through a transformation right away, soon, okay? If it hasn't happened yet, okay, we have the death card and the chariot card. Those are both transformations. So somebody that is watching this is going to go through a transformation that makes them very, very happy, okay? Your vibrancy, your color is coming back, okay? You've taken the time to work on yourself. Congratulations. It looks really positive. And because you're doing that, love could come charging right in, right in. We have a Cancer. We have um, Virgo. We have Scorpio. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have a Leo. We have a Libra. But it feels to me like your new prospect, okay, in the future, if you're single, if you've just become single, because for many of you, you're either contemplating becoming single or you are single. You're letting one go, and as soon as you let that one go, when you do the right thing for yourself, that's when your new one will come charging in. And I tend to think your new one is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? me I have a little bit of a cold all right so yeah one door is closing so a new door can open and this new door is going to fulfill your wishes you just have to really let that other door close I think ma many of you um, have been pretending or you have been stalling you know you've been pretending that something is going to work out and so you've been stalling and making your decision and you've been trying to give more and give more and give more and you've been trying to change and you've been trying to do this and trying to do that but the fact of the matter is you've given it all that you can give the the fruits of your labor are not being paid off by the other person i think this other person is kind of trying to teach you a lesson somehow like punish you like i said at the beginning of the reading they're not um they think they're not thinking about you they're only thinking about themselves okay they're in it for themselves the person you may have been dealing with that you may be ending it with could be a libra okay because i see libra here is pretty pretty prominent and i think that that's this person could be the one that you're not that isn't giving you the love support um respect um, that you desire, that you need. And I, I see some suffering. I see some hurt. And I think this person doesn't even see that you're hurt, doesn't believe that you're hurt, doesn't realize that they're hurting you. Okay? It feels like there's some manipulation. There's some lies. There's some... Um, addictions, perhaps. You know? There's some addictions. There's so, uh, This is like a trap. You can free yourself at any time. You can free yourself from this, from this person. You can walk away, all right? You're, you're only bound loosely. You can free yourself whenever you're ready. You can close that door. You can bring the balance back to your life and the happiness, the balance and the happiness. And you can, the thing is, is that you need to nurture yourself more than the other person. You don't deserve to be punished. Nobody does, right? I mean, you're an adult. You don't, you can't, don't punish me. And people try to punish. It looks like this person is trying to punish you by withdrawing, not communicating, being cold, okay? I see that there is kind of like a vindictive, okay, a vindictive energy like, ha-ha, how you like this? You know what I mean? Kind of like that. Okay, but they don't—they don't realize that um, 
it's really, really breaking your heart. Deep down, it is breaking your heart. And they don't, they don't, and the fact is, even if they do realize it, they don't care. All right, they don't care. And that's sad. It really is sad. So whoever this person is, I think that they are heading right out of your life. And I think that somebody new will head in. I see a new sexual partner for many of you. Once you free yourself from these chains that you're bound to, you have to break the chains first. Okay? Because that's what the devil card is. You must break the chains. The devil does not bring in good things. Okay? It does not. He will take away the progress that you've made. And I see that you've made a lot of progress in healing. You've done what you can do to make this relationship work. Okay? There could have been some lies. There could have been a third-party situation that you have become aware of. You know, there could have been another person. And it's like, you know what? I'm worth more than this. This week is about taking action. That Eight of Wands uh, reversed is telling me that, you know, the time is now. And you may, you're may you delaying. You're delaying because you're scared. You're scared. And I see that you need, to, you need to take action. All right? The time is now. Right now. Take action. Self-respect, Aquarius. Self-respect. What are you worth? You've given it all. I see that you have. I think somebody's being selfish, and I don't think it's you. I think you deserve to be happy, and by summertime, you will be. If you do what's right for you now, by summertime, you will be glowing. But you have to take action now. Oh my gosh. Uh... Somebody else got this too. I think it. I think it was Lib Gemini. Gemini. All right. I'm gonna. <laughs> Thirty-eight. You have to be honest with yourself more than anything. And if somebody hasn't been being honest with you, that's a red flag. Can you ever trust them again? Honesty is essential. To be a loving person. It is important that we speak truthfully <clears throat> and in a loving manner. Love seeks to do what is best for another person. Speak honestly. Tell the truth about your emotions. Use this as an opportunity to clear the air and turn this into a positive outcome. Speak your truth. Honor yourself, clear the air, and move on. Your self-respect, your respect, you deserve to be respected. Not to be punished, not to be lied to, not to be used. You deserve to be loved fully and truly where you can trust without a question of a doubt. Aquarius, this is what I have for you. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and uh, I wish you the best of luck.